Hello guys, welcome back to the garage. Yes. Back to the garage. But uh, you'll notice there's some uh, new things. But that's not what this video is about. But I'm going to go over it quickly. Uh, first of all, I decorated the garage. Some uh, Chemical Guys stickers inside and out. Some cleaners, stuff, yeah, blah, blah, blah. But what I've gotten recently, I recommend this stuff. Masters, you might be seeing it backwards. Masterson's Car Care Waterless Wash and Shine. It's eco safe, it shine, cleans, shines, and protects advanced UV protection, and it's a professional formula. It's very thick and creamy, if you can tell. It's very nice. I also got uh, this waterless washing sign. This one's, um, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, there's mixed reviews out there. I mix it up to get the chemicals. Um, it, it's it's kind of a mixed review on this one. It's the Chemical Guys uh, Eco Smart RU, which means it's ready to use. Uh, it is waterless wash and wax. Also, it has a carnauba wax and a UV protection. It cleans, shines, and protects, and it's the water detail waterless detailing solution. So, I've got those. But wait a minute. There's a third company that needs to be brought into this. A third company that is known for their waterless wash. And that's Adams. Okay, I picked up the Adams waterless wash that it came with like fiber towels. Ah, came with a gallon of the cleaner itself. Uh came with some other stuff in there. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing. But it was it was pretty cool unboxing it. I like Adams. Adams, they their products are good. Uh but that's not what this video is about. What this video is about is that for the hundredth time I get to say thank you guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and everything. We have hit over 100 episodes. We have um, around 3,000 views on the channel. We have 30, 35, I think, 35 subscribers. I wish it was a little bit more, but hey, I'll take it. But that's not the point. The point is a big milestone in every subscriber uh, YouTuber's career. I also got uh, Jay Leno's stuff right there. And, oh, I never showed you guys this part. Right here. It's my new Porter Cable 3, um, 100 PSI, 150 PSI, 6 gallon uh, air compressor. And this. You're like, what? Is this a locker? I've got the pressure washer tools up here, pressure washers down there. I'm going to be pulling that out uh, this, I forget what day, possibly uh, tomorrow or Thursday. It's Wednesday and Thursday, I think, are supposed to hit six. Oh, yeah, and I've got a, 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 a wire, uh, a, a light and a, the gun back there for the pressure washer. It's supposed to hit, I think, Thursday and th Wednesday, Thursday. I think it's supposed to hit 65-ish in Maine, which is relatively warm considering if you uh, look outside. Can you see that? Snow. We have snow. We just had another snowstorm. It wasn't as bad as we thought it was going to be, We although they predicted originally three inches we got closer to probably six or nine inches i would say we got hit pretty pretty well it wasn't as bad as they had predicted but it was worse than they predicted like as at first they predicted it wasn't going to be good uh, bad 
But then they predicted it was going to be worse, but then it ended up being in between, so it was a 50-50 shot. Um, but that, that's not what this video is about. But look at my setup. But I'm going to do a setup video next time. That's not happening yet. But my, the point is that I wanted, I wanted to do something special for 100 videos. Not, it, it takes a lot to get to 100, and it takes you guys to get to 100. Because you guys, oh, there you go. You guys are the reason that I made it to 100. Because you people watch my videos. The camera's right there. I'm pointing here. No one's over there. The camera's right there. Anyway, I'm going on a rant. The point is, it's because of people like you that watch my videos that I have this channel. If it wasn't for you people and knowing that people watch my videos, I probably would have stopped at, like, episode 15. And just 100 videos later... Don't know what that was. I stepped on something. It, it makes me happy that people care about my channel and that people like watching my content. That makes me happy. And what makes me happy is that you're happy because I'm teaching you guys how to do simple stuff that will save you money. And it's a passion of mine to get to work on cars. And that's hopefully what I'm going... Well, not hopefully. That is what I'd be, I'm going to college for, to learn automotive repair, technology, technician, whatever you want to call it. Air compressor box right there. Right there. Boom. So, the point is... What was the point? That was a rant, kind of. Um, oh, yes. So, 100 videos. I wanted to do something special for 100, and I didn't think this was ever going to happen at 100. But it has happened. In the previous episode 100, which I posted yesterday, or this morning, episode 100 special... This is episode 101 right now. In episode 100, you uh, notice that I say I'm revealing a mystery car that I'm getting. No, it's not what you think. It's not the Challenger. I just had that footage from a friend that I wanted to use for a burnout. But this vehicle probably can't do a burnout. It has some power. But I'm not going to do it right away. I'm going to leave you guys on the edge of your seats so that you watch the videos and keep watching until I do that eventually. But the point is, what is the vehicle? I left you guys on the edge of your seat, basically. So, I think I'm going to tell you. No, should I wait for a couple videos from now? What's going on with my hair? That, that, that's, that's not much better. Um... Uh, uh, yeah, what the heck, I'll tell you. Okay, so here's the story. My sister uh, decided after moving back in between college and dry commuting from home, she decided she wanted to live at home and commute. So my parents bought her, we bought a third car, so that way we could have her commute from home to college and she was living at home. Earlier this year, or uh, second, like third, sec after mid-year, she decided she wanted to live back on campus. So this is all confusing to anybody that doesn't know this, but that it's all irre irrelevant. But the point is, they've already bought in the car. So what's going to happen to the car? It's going to sit right because she can't have it at school. It's going to sit right. You see that? Right. Right there on the. Right there on the lawn. It's going to sit on the lawn. And I don't. I don't want that to happen. I don't want the car to sit on the lawn. I want the car to be. Because that's not what cars are meant for. They're not meant to be left and not used. They're meant to be used. And set the camera. So that's what it basically is. I'm going to be having my license in a couple weeks. 
I don't have it yet. I will have it in a couple weeks. But basically, if the car's there, it's just going to sit there. So, and there's three people living in my house. Me, my mom, my dad, and the pets, but they don't drive. Um, so my dad, ha as you've seen, he has his 2007 Honda Odyssey Maroon, which is in nice condition. i got to wash it, which is what's going to happen. I'll show you guys in a video this week. Then my mom has her 2007 Honda Odyssey Gray, which is in mild condition. It has some scratch, uh, not scratches, but some paint. Uh, well, yeah, actually scratches on the front bumper from a curb. Which the hubcaps, by the way, is a different story, but I'm going to be repairing the hubcaps in a future video this week. Possibly. Ka-chow! But... The point is, is that I forgot where I was going with this, but the point, let me think about this, the point is that, so the car's going to be there sitting on the lawn, so my parents both have their own vehicle, I'm the only other person living in the house, what's going to happen to that third vehicle, well, I'm going to be able to use it. I'm, it's, I'm going to consider it my vehicle, even though my parents and sister don't consider it my vehicle. I consider it mine because what, my dad's not going to take, what, my dad's not going to give up driving his car so he can drive that, uh, the, that car. He's not going to do that. He's going to drive his van because it's bigger and there's more room. So where does that leave me? That leaves me in telling you what vehicle it is that is going to be sitting right there in that yard. You ready? Three, two, one. But before I hit, before I tell you what it is, hit the like button. Hit the like button right now. I'm gonna wait. Have you hit the like button? Hit it right now. Hit it right now, and I will tell you. Did you well, hit it? I'm gonna guess that you did hit it, and I'm gonna guess that you smashed it. You didn't hit it. You killed the like button. Anyway, so the point is, I'm gonna tell you the car right now. It is a two thousand, and you've seen the car in a, a, a past video of me uh, using my Ryobi to uh, orbital polisher, which I'm probably gonna be getting a Porter Cable orbital polisher sander that will be better than the Ryobi, but the Ryobi does work, so I might keep that. Well, I will keep that, and I'll probably use that, but... Uh, the point is, the car that you've seen is the car that I'm getting to use, not getting to keep. The get oh, come on. No notifications right now. The car is a 2010 RAV, Toyota RAV4. Yes, the Toyota RAV4 2010 does have that big spare tire on the back in case with the plastic. But it's a light blue, uh, what color? It's, um, it's kind of like, uh, this blue, almost. Kind of like that, maybe. Not so much. It's, it's, it's pretty close. Which reminds me, I have to refill the windshield wiper fluid. But it's a blue RAV4. It doesn't show dirt easily because it's blue. But it's dirty because she drives it in the dirt because she goes to she drives to school in the countryish area of Maine. But that's why I'm gonna be detailing it this week. And that's gonna be great. I'm gonna get to detail it, wash it because it's gonna be dirty and it's gonna be warm. So I'm gonna take you guys along on that video to clean it, but that's not the point. The point is that I'm getting this RAV4, which is a 2010 RAV4 Blue Limited Sport with a V6 engine with a, I think it has a cold air intake, I'm not sure. If it doesn't, I'm going to put one in because cold air intake, it gives you a little bit extra horsepower. Not much, but it'll help. And then, I don't know how long this video is going to be. It's, it's going into the minutes now. And so that video will be coming out of me washing the car and going over more of what's in it. 
but it makes 197 or 215. 215, I think. No, 197, I think. It was under 200. It makes around 197 horsepower, which is okay. The I think it's kind of sad that that makes 197 when our 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 Odysseys make 244, which is m more than the, the Rav4. But it's sad at the same time that a car that's smaller, a compact SUV like that, is not faster than the Rav the Honda Odyssey. But the Rav4 can get up and go. The Odyssey, it it's a minivan. It has more weight to it. It's more beef. But that's not the point. The point is. I almost broke into an impression right there, which will come out in another video, my impressions that I do. But this is the 100th anniversary episode, and I'm going to do what I want in this episode. But the point is that I don't remember. I forgot already. Um, give me a minute. Okay, the point is... The point is, is that this video is going to be uploaded today. That's not what I was supposed to say. Um, I'm going to be super cleaning the Odyssey or the RAV4 this week. Yes, I will be super cleaning it. Ow. That's pretty cool. I'll be super cleaning the uh, RAV4 or the Odyssey depending on which one I want. Uh, which one I want to uh, uh, super clean. Uh, it's probably going to be the Rav4 because it's the dirtiest, except for the Odyssey that I just drove today. I drove it through a puddle that was the size of the street and as deep as, I'd say, uh, it was probably about th th this deep. Yeah, maybe a little bit deeper. It was bad. It shot mud all over the car. It was a dirt road. It was horrible. But, oh, the other thing I was going to tell you is that I'm planning on re, uh, re, uh, refurbishing, maybe you would say. I'm trying to make new the, the, the tires on our, on the, the hubcaps on our Odysseys. They're kind of, the paint on them, they're plastic, that it's all scratched off. It's, it's in bad condition on some of the tires. So I'm just going to take the hubcaps off, uh, sand them down, wipe them down, everything, and then repaint, spray paint them. Um, ooh, I like this air compressor. Ooh. But that's not what the point is. The point is, is that it's going to be a great episode. You guys are going to get to see it and I'm gonna make that episode and release it in the same day probably and I'm just going on nonsense that I don't know but I will do a burnout eventually maybe some donuts maybe a car meet I'll be able to drive I'll probably drive to school one day and we'll have a car meet with a bunch of other guys or drive it to uh, the other my local high school meet some other guys have a car meet probably a couple car meets I don't know um, but I do know this. I want to thank you guys for 100 videos. 100 is a pretty big milestone, I would say, because I reached, let's see, 100 videos in about two and a half years. Two and a half years to the month, almost to the day. The day was about last week, I think, on February 13th is when I officially met, posted my first video. I had joined YouTube on January 30th, I think. Or, no, it might have been before. No, I've been with YouTube for a long time. For a few years now. Actually, like five years, I think, I've been with YouTube. I just started making the videos two years after, which was two years ago, to this month week, year, way, whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, that's what I have to talk about. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy the 100 videos. I hope you enjoy the next 100 videos. 
and I hope we can get to the next 100 sooner than it took us to get to this 100. I'm hoping that we can have at least, I want to say 365 episodes by the end of this year, but that's a lot of episodes. We'll probably make it to two, either a hundred, no, we'll make it either to 200 episodes, we'll definitely make it to 200 episodes, but I'm hoping my goal is to make it to 300 episodes this year. That's a pretty big goal, but I'm hoping that with your support, guys, your support, I'm going to be able to make that goal. Because I dream big, and when you dream big, your dreams go up to the sky. I don't know. The point is that that is the point. Everything's happening fast. The car's coming in later this week. I'll detail it. I'll wash it. I'll do everything. I'll do the other cars. And then I'll show you guys what those look like. The other thing is that this might make an interesting video. But if you can... I don't know. See you guys next time. Woo! <laughs>